where should we begin children um i might as well just do this video completely honestly if i haven't slept the night before on a mega important rally i will let you know because it's now like 2 30 a.m in the morning i've been up all night eating blooming cheesy watsits and the likes and um I've still got like one last full can of San Miguel. It's like half two in the morning. Uh, Jordan's going to be knocking. <laughs> Jordan, the biggest space cadet in the galactic core of metal detecting, is picking me up at about, God knows, in about three and a half hours time. We're going over to Cambridge. It's meant to be banging land and uh, a lot of um, quite exclusive invites and not and well a lot of me good friends but uh a few s method detecting faces and shit you know you, you know you know score get subscribed to anglo celtic and he promises he'll try not to piss on you when he's drunk <laughs> but um you know i don't give a fuck basically you'll never catch me you'll never get me to court Ah, uh, so this view is, uh, I should have been in bed about six hours ago, but I might as well stay up with you and take you through the whole sleepless night on into the next day. It's like, o'clock, it's o'clock in the morning where you look at it and you think, oh, don't tell me that fucking time when it's fucking nearly 3 a.m. in the morning. And your mates <laughs> gonna be knocking. Oh Jesus! Uh, would you like to see my uh, Roman latest Roman incarnation? Looks rather cool. This little shrine over here. So we got Venus or Vespasian or whatever other fucking Vespa this possible Roman turns out to be. And he's only gone and fucking hot wired my beautiful uh, 1960s uh, possible Ferrari. We don't know what it is, but Heracles here. Uh, Prince fucking Caspian, or whoever his name is, he's had me motor off. And uh, we know who, who, who the last one who fucking stole me motor, don't we? Albert Tatlock. I'll put the link in the description. In fact, I don't need to put the link in the description. We've got quite a lot of new viewers on board lately. And that's my lovely rate as a cheeky school kid. And Sid Vicious is looking out for her. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fuck me, viewers. I forgot what I was going to say now. Anyway, this is the night before the rally. Stephen Gray signing off from the mega cool finds. Uh, hit me up. Just hit me up, kids. I'll take you out. Somebody told me they were going to give me an, another metal detector. Uh, one of the shops said they'd send me one next week. Um, unless it's something top end that I ain't used. Which I doubt it, if it's, you know, a nice machine, I'm going to give it away to one of my viewers. No fucking raffles, and I think I'll just uh, give it away to one of my viewers. And we will give a massive shout out to that very generous shop. Support an Anglo-Celtic network, a go-go. Puffs conglomerate. Sid Vicious is us. Right, well... Sorry about the camera finger there. We've gone to uh, another level now. It's like 
fuck day am in the morning. In for a penny, in for a pound type of territory, you know, if you go to sleep now, you might be asleep for like eight hours. Be a zombie when your mate's knocking on the door, miss the rally. So the only other option is to like rock it, like really stay awake. Might even sit out on my doorstep in case I do crash out and Jordan will find me there in the morning. So with that in mind, I was looking about for some uh, poetry on my Anglo-Celtic poetry page. Oh, and the story that I forgot earlier when I was in that rambling monologue is for my new viewers, rather than me paste the link in the comments, put in the search bar on YouTube, Albert Tatlock stole my motor. And you'll see a younger version of Anglo if you're new to the channel. That'll explain a lot. And some of my older viewers, Albert Tatlock stole my motor. Right, now, I'm going to try and get, look, 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 look what time it is. It's, well, it's 2.39 a.m. So in for a penny, in for a pound type of territory, like I said, didn't it? Fuck it, we just got a rocket. Don't call myself the rock and roll kingdom, that would detect them for nothing. Anyway, uh, I've got to put that phone there while I open it a minute. Um, this poem, just the first random poem on the Anglo-Celtic poetry page on Facebook. Look that up if you want to. I've got lots of poems on. Just put Anglo-Celtic poetry into the search bar on Facebook. And you'll see it. This one is called Older Than America. But I must add a caveat to that. I fucking love my American buddies, my friends, my viewers, the fellow American diggers that I've been out with. I've been out with some of the rock stars of American metal detecting YouTube and TV series. Uh, Akuchiga, KG and Ringy, Nutmeg, Noggin, whatever his name is. Noggin, Nut, Nut, Nut. You know I love you, mate. Right, so... I love Americans, but I've got a wacky sense of humour and I'm always saying things are older than America. So that's what this poem is called. It's called Older Than America and hold it at arm's length and squint sideways and hope that you fucking read it correctly, Anglo. Right, it's called Older Than America. God bless the land of excess and nylon jumpsuits, evil Knievel and cowboy boots. Big shiny cars that go on forever. The Marlboro Man and sunny weather. Hollywood smiles and massive tits. Elvis Presley and his greatest tits. The Bonanno family and Miami Vice. It's not their fault, I'm cold as ice. I have socks older than the USA. That's bullshit, I hear them say. Hot waffles and greasy burgers. Stale farts and lots of murders. Everything is older than America. Even the microwave, I'm fucking telling you. Nickels and dimes and chump change. Pneumatic blondes, top of the range. Ice cream parlours and slices of pizza. John Gotti wanting to meet you. Al Capone and a loaded gun. rat a tat tat he's having fun. Long legs and painted lips, sunglasses reflect those welcome hips. Sidewalks and subway trains, overhead railways and block drains. From the Big Apple to the Big Easy, go-go girls trying to please me. I've got nicotine stains older than America. Too many burgers lead to an enema. Drops the mic. Love my American buddies though. If you can't fucking take it... Don't give it. Love you guys. Well, viewers, uh, I've got a serious problem. I've got about an inch left in this last can of San Miguel. We're trying to decide what stepping stones to put in place. That, um, 
It's 3.20 a.m. in the morning. Need some little stepping stones. Just so I hear that rat -a tat tat in the morning and collapse into Jordan's car. I'm really trying to get to that point now. Anything, anything to keep me awake, you know? Mm. Fucking night before the rally, kids. Night before the rally. Oh, yeah, I've got another poem I'm going to read you. Uh, I'll grab it in a minute off the other phone and read it here, but I'll give you the background to it. It was about 1989, I was about 20, yeah, no, about 1988, and I was working on a motorway down in Banbury, building the M40 from Oxford to Birmingham. And uh, I was staying around the Banbury area, and I was in a pub in Banbury, and uh, it was six deep at the bar, and somebody there heard my Birkenhead accent, and he tapped me on the shoulder. I turned round and he said, uh, all right, mate, I'm off the head Fred from Birkenhead. And then he tapped his nose like that. And he said, I steal the ACBs. And there was a lot of plant getting stolen off the job. So I've never f spoke to him from that day to this. So this is over many decades gone. I decided to write a poem dedicated to off the head Fred the other month. Uh, I will fucking try and use this as a stepping stone to get to the rally tomorrow morning, fucking hundreds of miles away in about six different mm, counties over on the fucking east coast halfway. Uh, I give you off the head, Fred, just to try and keep me awake. Right, I'll try not to squint, I'll try not to get camera finger, I'll try and wrap it out all in one big... <sighs> Still got a squint though. Off the head thread from Birkenhead. My socks are stolen just like my jeans, I drive a robbed car till it screams. I got one babe pregnant, two up the duff. I was raised in a back alley, life was tough. We had an outside bog and the Daily Herald. A wooden seat and it got pebbled. Shipyards and dock road boozers, ocean liners and cruisers. Some of, us, some of us built ships and others robbed cars. Chatting up the barmaid in a series of bars. Stolen goods but where to keep them? At your nan's cause she's the chieftain. Runny eggs and blind scouse. Not a penny in the fucking house. Rob and Peter to pay Paul, line a lot up, I'll rob them all. Stale pints and puddles of puke, never made it home from the Hamilton or the Duke. Skeleton records and trog oil, addictive public, buying tin foil. The angel in near Oakenalden, biker chicks, I wish I'd belled them. Daddy's sauce and wrestling on the tally. They're not going to uncle's room because it's fucking smelly. Fathers and sons going away to sea, making money and history, coming out of stairways and starting a fight. Your head spinning from fresh, fresh air at night. I'm off the head, I'm off the head and I'm tough as nails. I move to real if all else fails. Holidays in fucking Talaka. Smelly trainers and cheap to. Backer. Right, I've decided to end this vlog here and uh, if my next video starts as a rally at 5am in the morning or 6am with Captain Donut Burger, Jordan Button the Third, fucking driving me there and back and we survive and I find cool shit, well that'll be the second part of this video. Um, so this one is just going to be called Night Before the Fucking Rally. Uh, no metal detectors were switched on. Uh, if you don't fucking like it, I don't give a fuck. What can I say? I want to show you my lovely uh, railway sign before we sign off. Let me show you this that I got from uh, Donegal, it was, I think, while I was out in Ireland. 
So it's like Donegal and Galway Railway notice any person leaving this gate open is liable to a penalty of 40 shillings. Any person not subscribing to this channel but watching it regularly needs to fucking troubleshoot it. Now mind you watch it on your big telly. Google a fuck out of it. Ask Alexa. Get subscribed or I'll can find you and I'm going out in about an hour and a half to find cool shit again just to entertain you don't have a go at me don't have a go at me kids I'm only doing gonzo metal detecting <coughs> uh, Hunter S. Thompson journalist on ground with fucking hell's angels and shit that's who I aspire to. And I just happen to like metal detecting. Don't like metal detecting. Don't like wacky people. Don't like truthful people. Don't watch my channel. Everyone else who's still here after the end of all this mishmash. I love you. And I'm going out very soon to entertain you. to Ireland, Jordan Button 2, he's got his fucking name when he's on, and yellow socks too, Adrian's gone to meet them, down the caravan, drinking